you'll see how to properly measure and check your transmission oil fluid level and temperature without going to the dealership. This especially helps if you are changing the transmission oil and filter yourself. Which, by the way, I have a separate detailed video you can watch later on how to do that. That will be in the description. Anyway, this procedure is for Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and even Mercedes vehicles, specifically with either transmission type, NAG1, 42RLE, CVT, and 62TE transmissions. You will need to buy the correct dipstick for your car. There is an actual difference between the dipsticks of the Mercedes and Chrysler Dodge Jeep vehicles. The Mercedes one uses the dipstick with a black tip. It has a low and a high temperature range. One for when the car is cold or off and the other when the car is turned on or hot. A separate trans cap with locking pin usually comes with it as well, but you could reuse the other one if need be. Whereas the Chrysler Dodge Jeep has a dipstick with numbers on it that go up in 10 increments. And you can reuse the trans cap. Also, each dipstick usually comes with a temperature chart, which I will talk about how to read soon. Or you can easily find that chart online as well. Lastly, if you use the wrong dipstick, you could get it stuck. So just buy the correct one for your make and model. I wish they included a dipstick, but they claim it's a sealed for life transmission, meaning no maintenance is necessary. Ha, <laughs> yeah, right. Just another way to screw the customers. I'll put some links in the description so you can get the right one. While there, also please tap the like button and subscribe button. I would appreciate that. Now, you also need a code reader that can read the transmission temperature. I'll put some models in the description below as well. So, let's start. Make sure your car is on a level ground and very important, make sure you have the emergency brake on. Open your hood and you'll see towards the rear of the engine this twist cap. Just turn it counterclockwise and remove it. It says for dealer use only. Of course, they say that so they can charge you an arm and a leg. Anyway, place that to the side. If you have a Mercedes or a Crossfire car, then instead of a twist cap, you'll see a red tab here. This car has a piece of tape covering it temporarily. But anyway, just use a flat tip to pry it upward and pop this out. Now, at this point, if you just drain your transmission oil and or reinstall the transmission oil pan, then for starters, you'll want to add the same amount drained back in, but with the new approved transmission oil type. Or you can put in the exact transmission oil amount as indicated in the owner's manual. I suggest starting with less initially. An amount of cords to use can be found in your owner's manual or online. So once you put some oil in, maybe wait 10 or 15 minutes for the oil to settle before you grab your dipstick. Quickly, you'll see how to put the dipstick in, but later I'll do it again with the car actually turned on. Remember, there are three things you need here. The dipstick measurement tool, your code reader that displays the transmission temperature, and a chart. So I'll show you quickly how to do this before turning the car on. So I'll put the dipstick in and eventually it will hit the bottom of the pan. A portion of the dipstick will stick out and that's normal. Don't try to keep forcing it in. It's already hitting the bottom. Anyway, pull it out and take a look at the reading on the dipstick. You'll compare this dipstick measurement reading and the transmission temperature from your code reader on this chart. Now I'll show you the full process in action right now. Before turning the car on, plug your code reader into the OBD2 port and you'll have to find the transmission oil fluid temperature location first on the code reader. Once you find it, turn the car on, put the emergency brake on, and we want the car to idle for about two minutes. While we're doing that, I'm gonna shift gears this helps circulate the new transmission oil. This shows you what the transmission fluid temperature is in park. Here's what the temperature is in reverse, 89.60. The car's been idling for a little over two minutes now. Let's put it in reverse again. Yep, about 90, 92 degrees. Okay, and I just put it back in park so it should change. There we go. Okay, with that being said, let's go take a look at the level. Grab your long stick. Push it in. 
Let's take a look at this. It is at about 30. Scan tool says transmission temperature is at 90 degrees and the dipstick level was at 30 degrees. So I'll add maybe a few ounces and repeat the process until it's in range. I'll let the car warm up a little longer and be right back and show you another chart. Back in the car, there's two tens. When I put in reverse, that's what I get. Okay, it's 115 degrees. I'll put the dipstick in and tell you the updated dipstick level number and then come back and go over the charts so you truly understand these graphs one last time. Okay, I'm at about 115 temperature and I had about 45 and that looks just, oh wow, just perfect. Good, that's on one chart. On the other chart, I'm at, like I said, 115 and that looks pretty much like I'm in spec. So that's good. Excellent. Now, on the Mercedes, I finished circulating the transmission oil by shifting gears, like before, for a minute or so. And see the temperature in reverse on the code reader is in Celsius, not Fahrenheit temperature, like the Chrysler Dodge Jeep was. Same process, putting in the Mercedes dipstick and then pulling it out but this is where it differs from a Chrysler Dodge Jeep dipstick. And instead of seeing increments of numbers, instead you'll see a range on the dipstick. You want to be within the minimum and maximum bars while the car is on and be within that 80 Celsius or about 176 degree Fahrenheit range. And it looks like my oil level is a little under the minimum bar. So I'll have to add just a little and retest. So simply put, before adding any more trans oil, make sure the car reaches 80 Celsius first, as indicated on the code reader, before putting the dipstick back in to see where the transmission oil range is at on the dipstick. The goal, of course, is for the trans oil to be within range. So if you add any more trans oil, add it slowly and then keep repeating to make sure you're at the best range. Hopefully I explained it pretty well, Please mention in the comments if you have any other thoughts that could help other viewers out when doing this project. Once everything looks good, you can screw back on by hand the twist cap. If it's a Chrysler Dodge Jeep or if it's a Mercedes, then grab the cap with O-ring on the bottom, then wiggle it on and pop that red tab back on. If you have any transmission codes like code P2222, then now might also be a good time to clear them and test drive your vehicle. Hopefully this detailed video helped. If so, please hit the like button and subscribe and mention your thoughts on this video in the comments. And specifically, which dipstick you like better, a Mercedes or Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Remember to also check out the many other videos on this channel, including a full detailed transmission flush and tips and tricks along the way. Those videos are in the description with all tools and supplies used. Until next time, always remember to help others out.